We have lost a hundred years of evolution on planet Earth. A true lost century. Huge progress was made in the 1920s, as Nikola Tesla developed energy generation technologies that could power the Earth, drawing endless free energy from the so-called empty space around us. So-called empty space isn't really empty at all. It's actually full of energy. So instead of being like kind of a quiet, empty lake, it's more like the froth at the base of a waterfall or something. The amount of energy in a cubic meter of space-time was 10 to the 26th power. It's a 10 with 26 zeros behind it, joules per cubic meter. And that's enough energy, even in a coffee cup, to boil all the oceans of the Earth completely away into steam. The acronym Unidentified Flying Object is a deliberately obfuscating term. And what it really is, is an alternative energy and propulsion system. They had a, a piece of, they thought was plexiglass, a rectangular piece of a plexiglass, for years before they figured out it was the energy device for the craft. And it was connected in such a manner that this device could power a very small watch up to a city. Power was determined by what the demand on it was. And so each craft had one of these. The implications of free energy go far beyond keeping the lights on in your home or running your car without gasoline. Most of the cost of making anything from growing food to constructing a skyscraper is the energy used to mine the raw materials out of the ground. Ship, process, ship again, package, and deliver. A free energy society in which the cost of manufacturing and agriculture move towards zero would mean endless abundance for everyone on Earth. They already exist. It's not like they even have to be invented. You and I, the taxpayers, have already paid trillions of dollars, literally, in super secret black budget funding to develop these systems. This is the society we could have had a century ago.